Yo nerd, what's up? This video, we're gonna be teaching you how to take a range and turn it into a list. So in other words, you have this range and you wanna save it for later so you can reference each one of the elements in that range. So when we run this right here, we get this value zero through nine. And that's cool and all, it seems to work, but it actually is built using this variable over and over and over again. What I wanna do is I wanna take this and I wanna put it within a list. So your first instinct might be to say, mm, let's just call it my list, and then we say range 10. This actually does not work the way you would expect. See, if you print my list, run this, we get range 0 to 10. Hmm, that's not what we were looking for. And that's because when you invoke range, it doesn't give you a list back. It gives you a range object. So we're basically creating a new range object which happens to be able to be iterated through in a loop with a for loop. But it's not a list, it's different than a list. If it was a list, when we printed it, it would look a little bit different. So for example, let's create my list and assign it some values. So we put all those values in here and then we print my list. Running it now, we get what we were expecting, a list of numbers. So this here, and this here are not the same thing. So if you want to take a range and assign it directly to a list without typing out all the elements manually, it's really simple. All you have to do is say list and put it inside of parentheses. So hovering over it, you can see it's a list class. So if you want to make a new list object, you just pass in a range to that list and that works. So running this now, and we get that list we expected. So hopefully that makes good sense. It can be a little bit confusing because you would think range would return a list. However, it doesn't work exactly that way. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna continue our discussion on the for loop.